Hey everybody, this is Julie with ReadySitStamp.com and I'm going to be making this really cute anchor card on page 38 of the Wild Card 2 cartridge. I've cut it out at four and a half inches and so I've just cut out all the layers here. I went ahead and cut these layers and then this one. The only one I did do is a little red that goes on top here. I just didn't really see the need to do it and I'll, I'll kind of show you why right here. So here's the red background at four and a half inches and of course I said all the other um, items that I've cut out are also four and a half inches. I did some faux stitching onto here and then this adorable little anchor here that says anchors away is from absolutely cute stamp set here called A Day at the Beach from Mary at Cards Crazy and her website is cardstv.blogspot.com and this is such a fun stamp set. Oh my goodness, there's just so many. I when I look at this stamp set too for anyone that scrapbooks, I'm not a scrapbooker myself, but just there looks like so many fun things to even do when you're scrapbooking, like the making waves, wet and wild if you're in the tub and the kids are all splashing. I thought that would be fun. And then um, sink or swim and water world. Anyway, so not just um, for cards, of course, but also for scrapbooking. I think it would be a lot of fun. So again, it's called A Day at the Beach. And so here's the one I stamped onto here that says Anchors Away. I'm going to go ahead and just use some of my glue here. Uh, let's see. This is called Adhesive Tech that I'm using. It's glue that I got at Michael's. I like it a lot. Um... So what's nice is that it doesn't dry super fast, so if you do need to, you know, if you get it on yourself and you have to rub it off, it, it works like that. So it's just fine. Let me pick this up here, add it to here, and so you guys can kind of see what I'm talking about. There is two little red things that you can cut out that will fit right at the tips here of this little anchor. But, I don't know, I just didn't see it as being necessary. I thought it looked cute just like that. So, I, I didn't bother to cut that part out because I thought it looked cute just like this. So, this is the paper here. You know what I just realized? <laughs> oh, I didn't do too bad. That's good. Um, on Remember on the, the very first one that you cut here, this cream color one, or if you decide to do white, remember not to glue the back on this part. I did and so lesson learned I kind of forget about that when it's open like that so anyway let's go ahead and glue these little pieces onto here and just so that you know this uh, blue stripe paper here is from Echo Park Dots and Stripes I've been using that a lot because I like it and because I can remember the name to it <laughs> and I want to give you guys the name of what I'm using and the red is from Paper Tray Ink I'm not sure the exact name of the red. And the cream color that you see there is Basil Cardstock. What I love about Basil Cardstock is it usually has a little bit of texture to it. So this does have a little bit of texture. I know it's kind of hard to see, but you know, it's kind of like, um, like almost a hound's tooth, I guess, pattern in it. So it just has a little bit of extra something in the card. Let me see if I can trying to get this all lined up here properly and then I can kind of show you a close-up I don't know if you can really see the texture in that paper oh there it is it just got a little bit clearer so you guys can see what I'm talking about I'm trying to center this a little bit more just so it lines up properly there's that and now I just noticed it needs a little bit more glue here there we go there's that. And then I'm going to go ahead and glue this one onto here. There we go. And then I've got another little guy that I need to do, and that's right here on this one, right this part. Let's go ahead and take this one, and we'll add this one right here. And I decided not to do anything else with the card. I was looking at maybe adding something to the sides and stuff like that, maybe here. But it just looked really busy to me, and sometimes I just like the simplicity of it. And with the faux stitching, I think that's enough, personally. I just like the way it looks, and I think it just looks really sharp. I love the way this card turned out. So there it is. I hope you guys enjoy it, and have a great day, everybody. Take care. Bye-bye.